Hello everyone, welcome to 2012, and more importantly, welcome to The Moaning Show, episode 13. Dum, 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 dum. Unlucky for some, but uh, this is the start of a new year, so I'm going to crack on with my first subject of the new year, which is going to be all about New Year's Eve and 2012 in general. Now, where do I start? The thing about New Year's Eve is that it's one big anti-climax. We wait for Big Ben to strike 12 to signal in what's basically, you know, yet another day. It's the one time of the year where Big Ben becomes the most important thing in say 60 million people's lives you know give or take a couple of million here or there when it strikes um we all tend to reflect on you know what has been the previous 12 months and what it's done for us what it's meant to us and you know for a lot of us there's you know, saying we could have done that better or we could have done this better. But the the bad thing, as far as I'm concerned, about it all is the fact that the jubilation lasts, I don't know, 10 minutes, if that, and then you go back to what you were doing. Now, New Year's Eve is absolutely fine if you've got a party or somewhere to go. I mean, if you've been invited to a New Year's Eve party, there's, no, there's not a lot of better nights uh, to spend with friends and family. And if you're going out to the pub or whatever, you're absolutely fine there as well. But what if you've got nowhere to go? Or if you don't go anywhere, or if you spend it with your immediate family? Or what about if you're alone? What happens then? Hardly anything. I have not been to a New Year's Eve party in almost 10 years. Um, it will be 10 years this year. And I have to say that, you know, when you don't have anywhere to go, New Year's Eve kind of sucks, really. Um, it's just another night, as far as I'm concerned, and it's it's not all it's uh, cracked up to be. Uh, for instance, the people go to Trafalgar Square. They're standing outside in the freezing cold. Usually, uh, this this Christmas it was pretty uh, pretty warm, considering what had happened in previous years. Uh, and if you do manage to stay in cities overnight, to carry down to the New Year. You get charged with extortionate prices. Now, that's going back to a previous moaning show and a future moaning show as well. So I'll uh, talk about cost and things like that. But back to New Year's Eve. Like I say, if you've got nothing to do, nowhere to go, nowhere to spend it with, or, you know, things like that. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. Uh, for instance, this year, New Year last year new year's eve was on a saturday uh my mother has dialysis on a saturday you know and to midnight we had to wake her up because she wasn't feeling very well like most people probably don't after dialysis she certainly doesn't and you know it's it's all sorts of like i say i Personally, I would have left her uh, asleep, but it's New Year's Day. You know the the bongs of Big Ben. You've got to you've got to be awake for that. So that's basically New Year's Eve sorted. And I have to say the telly on New Year's Eve is terrible. I mean, this year they had a they had a countdown show on one of the channels that finished at half past eleven. What's that all about? 
bloody stupid. Uh, a couple of other channels have films and BBC, they had a sports reporter going around and talking to people, you know. And these people have been outside for hours, they're waiting for the bongs and, you know, <laughs> they're there freezing their new no-nades off, you know, and uh, <laughs> just beg his belief, you know. But like I say, that's about New Year's Eve sorted, and on to the year of 2012 in general. And where do I start with 2012? 2012, in my personal opinion, is going to suck. It's going to be bad. Not because the world's going to end. Even though I reckon at times a lot of us this year will probably wish it would. But 2012 is going to be difficult. It's going to be uh, tiresome. And the worst thing is about 2012, there's an extra day of it. It's a leap there this year. And which on the 29th of December, December? 29th of February this year... Uh, we got an extra 24 hours before, you know, the end of 2012. I'm actually looking forward to 2013 because I just feel it's going to be 10 times better than this year. Um, a lot of that is down to money, and the lack of it. A lot of that is down to uh, personal feelings about the year. It's just not going to be good for it's not going to be as easy, put it that way, as previous years. Um, you know, people say you can't live how you want to all your life. And I think this year is the year that I'm going to have to come out of my shell, so to speak, to help the family, help, you know. I haven't been looking forward to this year for six months or so now now it's here you know there's a couple of good bits of telly Sherlock's back that was fantastic the other night um, like I say I, I'm, I'm not enthusiastic about this year uh, I'm trained in computing you know stuff like that I can do spreadsheets when I remember how to do them um, I can also do call centre work, and work on tills and stuff, and to be honest, I can't see myself doing anything else in the region that I live in, in the country, uh, other than being a care assistant. And in my mind, being a care assistant is all about cleaning up after old people. Or cleaning up our people that are either ill or that can't clean up after themselves and I'm not qualified for anything like that I get squeamish at the sight of dirty nappies I get squeamish at the sight of sick and the only work that seems to be down in the region where I live in the southwest is either bar staff or care assistants or chefs. I'm not experienced enough to be a cook or a chef. I'm certainly not going to be a member of a bar, bar staff, um, basically because of the potential abuse you, that you can receive from uh, customers. So the only option apart from getting the odd temporary job, which I don't like the sound of either, um, is to be a care assistant. I don't particularly like the sound of that either, but it's going to have to be the lesser two evils. Cleaning up people's mess, both that way and downstairs. I, I don't want to do it. But, like all many of us, I'm relying on six balls coming up Saturday or Wednesday. 
and that's just not going to happen. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet. I'm just going to have to say, if you puke while cleaning up someone's puke, so be it. If you puke while trying to wipe some old farts ass, then, you know, so be it. And I don't mean any disrespect to anyone that is a care assistant out there. You know, I think you do a great job. But, you know, it's it's all that there is down this way. So I've got to adapt. I've got to learn to take the bad with the good. And I just think this year is going to be bad, you know. There are so many things that I don't want to do that I'm going to have to do this year. And to say that I haven't been looking forward to this year is an understatement. Um, to say that, you know, things aren't looking brilliant for me financially either is another understatement. But, you know, that's neither here or there. I've never had much money. <laughs> Whenever I get a seemingly large amount of money, you know, it, it goes relatively quickly because I never have any bloody money to spend anyway. So, you know, I'm I'm 27 of date this year and I've got zero in my uh, fund for my future. And that's another thing I'm not looking forward to, my future. You know, it's... Like I say, I'm sorry for all the doom and gloom. It's just the way I'm feeling about 2012. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. And all I can see in front of me is a tunnel with no light at the end of the, at the end of it. There's no, in in my own personal opinion, there's no glimmer of light in there. All there is is pessimism I know the people that I know would say well cheer up it's not all bad news and you know to some degree it might not be but until I'm trained in you know being a care assistant or until I do get that job and until I do you know say right I'm going to be the person that I hope I can be and it just involves work and anybody that knows me or anybody that has seen my shows before this one knows that I'm a fan of work I don't think any of us are unless you really love your job and 90% of people heck I'll go further I'll say 95% of people don't like their job they have to work because they need money and this year for the first time in my life I'm going to have to get a job because I need one not because I want one I don't want one I'll say that right now but you know circumstances have changed over the last 12 months and it's going to make this 12 months apprehensive you know it's the chances of getting a job are one in six I think at the moment I went for a job interview late last year a couple of job interviews late last year and I was one of six candidates no one's got a hope in hell this year anyway more on uh, 2012 as the weeks and months go by I mean obviously we got the uh the Olympics in London this year, that's a future episode. As is future, you know, um, things like Valentine's Day and bits and bobs like that. Plus, um, what I will be doing on this channel is uh, bringing out a selection of new videos. Um, it's a sort of mirror opposite to the moaning show. Uh, I think I'm going to call it my top five, you know, where I list my top five of subjects that I'm fairly interested in. 
and you know give my reasons for those top fives you know that that'll bring some happiness to the channel so to speak what i do want to do as well uh for those wrestling fans out there i know there's not a heck of a lot of you that watch these but for those that do um i'm going to be doing a wrestling event preview show and results show um just to up the video count on the channel and i think i may well do a formula one thing as well uh, i know f1's been a, a moaning show uh, subject of mine in the past but if i do a f1 preview and review show like the wrestling shows um you know i'm quite interested in that and you never know things may improve in that sort of thing what i would personally like to do going back to the subject of the video is to actually do what i'm doing now for a living speaking to you and the camera and but the chances of that happening are pretty slim so until the work gods smile upon me um i shall be relying on you out there to give me the what's the word happiness bone so to speak so i can never quit chew on it i shall also be relying on you to uh give me some subjects to moan about and like I say, this one's sort of not been so much moaning, but more of a preview to 2012 and what I think will come of it. Um, like I say, I apologise for all the doom and gloom, but that's just the way I'm looking at this year. So basically that's it. I thank you for watching. Uh, any comments in the comment box and, you know, any messages, the email is at the uh, bottom of the description of the video. And I'll see you next time on The Morning Show.